everyone, it's Yuto from sachirecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a classic noodle dish called Nikudon. This recipe is made with thick udon noodles in a rich broth topped with tender marinated beef. It takes about 30 minutes and serves two people, so let's begin. I'm going to start by making a marinade, so take a decent sized container and add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of mirin, a teaspoon of oyster sauce, half teaspoon of light brown sugar, about half teaspoon of ginger paste and 50 ml of water. Mix them all together until everything is combined and the sugar is more or less dissolved. I often use ginger paste to make it faster but you could also use great fresh ginger if you prefer. Once it looks like this, place about 150 grams of thinly sliced beef into the marinade. I'm just using fatty end cuts, it doesn't really matter what part you use as long as it's thinly sliced and fatty. I'd say thigh, loin or belly will work well because the fat kind of dissolves into the broth and adds extra flavour. If you can't find thinly sliced beef like this, you can always cut it yourself by putting a block of beef in the freezer for a little while. You don't need to freeze it completely, just firm it up so it's easier to cut it thin. Okay, I'm going to leave that to marinate at room temperature for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to cut the onion. I usually use a quarter of an onion, but this one is pretty small, so I'm using half today. I just cut off the ends and cut it into wedges like this. You can use more or less onion depending on your preference. Once it's cut, transfer it to a bowl and sprinkle it with half teaspoon of salt. This step just softens the taste and texture of the onion. We don't want them to overpower the taste of the beef. Mix it around and set aside until it's time to cook. Next, I'm gonna work on the broth. This broth is super easy and quick to make. All you need is 500 milliliters of dashi, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of mirin, and a teaspoon of light brown sugar. I used homemade dashi for this recipe, so if you want to try making dashi yourself, check out my other video. It's delicious, only takes about 45 minutes and you can use it for all kinds of noodle dishes. Anyway, simply bring your broth to a boil and let it bubble for about 2 minutes to burn off the alcohol. Once that's done, you can turn off the heat and leave it on the stove to keep it warm. Alternatively, you can set aside and reheat it just before serving. Just don't leave it simmering because the liquid will reduce and the flavour will become too strong. Next, take a frying pan and heat on medium. I'm using block of beef fat to grease the pan and add extra flavour. But of course you can use your preferred oil instead. Once the oil is hot, add the onions and fry them until they're slightly softened. This should only take a few minutes, the salting already softened them slightly too. While they're frying, I suggest cooking your udon noodles. I usually use frozen udon because they're pre-cooked and you can just microwave them, but dry or chilled work fine too. Just cook them according to the directions on the packaging. Okay, these onions look good, so now I'm going to add my beef along with the marinade. We just want to cook the beef through and burn off the alcohol in the marinade by reducing it a bit. In the end, the marinade will be poured into the broth for maximum flavour. Nothing is wasted in this recipe. Ok, 
Okay, this looks good. It's time to the shop. Divide your udon noodles into two bowls and then pour in your broth. Next, place the meat and onions in the bowl like this and drizzle the leftover sauce and juices over the top. Finally, garnish with some chopped spring onion for a bit of colour. I also like to add a bit of Japanese chilli powder called shichimi togarashi for a bit of heat, but it's optional. And that's it, simply delicious beef nikudon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and check out some of my other recipes. You can also support my channel by subscribing. Thanks again. Hope to see you in the next video.